Okay, I haven't even said a word. We're out of breath. Great. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm yelling so loudly. But hi, hello, how are ya? Hope everything is going well in your life today. That was an awkward sentence, but we're just gonna keep going. But hi guys, um, I mentioned in my favorites video, which I have a link up in the corner, my February faves, that for the month of February, I was on a no buy. I was not allowed to buy any like tangible things. So no beauty stuff, which is what today's video is going to be about. No like home decor, no clothes, like just like tangible things cluttering up my apartment. And I succeeded. I didn't buy a single thing. I did have some PR come in, which like, I mean, I'm never going to turn away from PR. I'm very grateful for PR, but I didn't have too much come in. And what I've had come in, I've actually really enjoyed. So it's nothing I want to get out of my collection. But I will say February was a tough month to not buy anything for one reason in particular. And if you know me, you probably have guessed what it is already, but we'll get to that in a minute. So in order to kind of like organize my thoughts and organize what I maybe wanted to buy when I, when I came out of this no buy, I made a no buy wish list or like things I was looking at. And I will say there's not a ton on here. So I really do feel like all in all, I have been better about focusing on products I would actually use and actually want in my collection and not just adding everything to this list like I would do in the past. So I am proud of myself about that. I will say that I'm probably going to buy all this stuff, which is like defeating the purpose, but it was nice to like make a list so that I didn't, I don't know, it kind of made me feel like I was buying it so that I knew I was putting everything in a little list somewhere that I could revisit when I was allowed to buy things and see what I actually wanted to buy. This video is sponsored by Shop Tagger, which you guys know I love and use and I've worked with them many, many times before. I'm going to be working with them a little bit this year as well. And I'm so excited about that because I truly love and use Shop Tagger. So a lot of you know what Shop Tagger is. I get a lot of messages like, hey, what was that website you once mentioned? It is Shop Tagger. And it's basically, if you never heard of it, it's a website where you can make lists and they will alert you when products go on sale. So it's a really, really nice way to save money. Another feature that they have that I love is it alerts you when products are back in stock. I've gotten several products thanks to Shop Tagger because it emails you and alerts you immediately when it's in stock or when something's on sale. It's really, really nice. So they have a website and an app and the app will send you push notifications if you want to know immediately when things are back in stock or on sale, you can buy them or they'll email you. So basically how it works is you plug it into your browser, then you go to countless amounts of websites. Pretty much every website I've ever tried to use it on it works like anthropology sephora ulta like kate spade like really urban outfitters really random places you go to the product you're wanting you just save it a little guy pops up on the right top side of the screen and you can save it you can add it to any of your ongoing lists like for me i have right now i have the no buy wish list i had a christmas wish list i have like a homeware stuff i have a staple favorites for all of my more expensive staples that when they go on sale, I want to stock up. So you can pick the list, you can pick what you want it to notify you about, and then you just save it and there it is. And that's it. You can go to the website, revisit all your lists, edit them if you want. So if you're waiting for a particular foundation to go on sale, you can add it from like three different retailers and it will tell you when one of them goes on sale. So it's really, really helpful. They also have a little guy that pops up and has a bunch of coupons, which saves you money. It always helps me save so much money, which is nice. And they actually have a new cashback feature as well. So it's super, super great. I totally love it. And I use it to make so many lists, <laughs> including the list I made today. The lists are shareable. So if you want to make like a birthday list or a Christmas list, make it and send it out. You can do that. It's just, it's very like nice and organized and also a way to save money. So I obviously love it. Shop Tiger is also currently running a giveaway if you want to look down below for the details about that. But I love Shop Tiger so much. I always forget to say, and I want to say it first, it is completely free to use. There is no cost to you, there's no catch. It is just an amazing extra tool that you can use to make lists and save money. So if you want to sign up, I will have a link down below. You can click sign up for completely free and start saving money and being organized because that's what it's about. So yeah, so I've tracked everything that I think I want and we're just gonna talk about it right now. So we'll do beauty first. I had some like lifestyle thing. Actually, I think I only have one lifestyle thing. But of course, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe released a sister palette to their original palette, which you guys know I love the original Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. It is, well now probably tied with the Tati Beauty palette as my favorite eyeshadow palette. I love it. I love the formula. I love everything about it. And so this, it, she announced like in February after I was already on the no buy. I probably would have changed the month if I knew it was coming. But it didn't sell out. Not that I see. And I even waited longer and now it's available on Ulta, which is nice because they just released a coupon for $10 off of 40 So your girl's probably gonna get it, to be honest. But when she announced it and was showing the photos and everything, she said that it's 
kind of meant to go with the first palette as like its sexy older sister. And when you look at it, it's kind of intense with all the bright oranges and like pinks and stuff. But in her swatch video where she like did swatch row by row, they're much more wearable than, or I think anyway, they look like they're much more wearable than you would think looking at this. It looks a lot more bold, but if you kind of dissect it, it's a lot of neutral colors. So I am definitely gonna get that at some point. I love the first one so much. And I'm considering like getting rid of all of the ones except those two in my Tati Beauty palette. <laughs> so that, it's a really good deal. I, I think you get, what, 38 eyeshadows? Let me see if I remember time samples. One, two, three, 35. Five times seven is 35, right? Five times seven. 35. Nailed it. The other day Bradley showed me this like Twitter thread that was it was supposed to be like an elementary school flashback in a thread and one of them was a times tables chart and I was trying to do it and I was like I gotta practice my times tables and he was like why? You have a calculator now. I'm like I guess. But so you get 35 shadows for $39 and they are the best shadows I've ever tried. So I would highly recommend that. The original one as well, but I am so excited to get my hands on the new one. Probably gonna order that this week. I have a couple foundations, both from the drugstore. The first one is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk, which that name just kind of like drew me to it because that sounds kind of like what I would want. Um, but I watched first Tenny Panosian, who I love here on YouTube. She does makeup tutorials, but she did like an all drugstore makeup video and she mentioned the CoverGirl Skin Milk and I was like, that looks amazing and she loved it. And then Tati did a, um, like a new CoverGirl wear test and she loved it as well. So I added that to my cart and I'm really excited to like, well, this one says it's sold out. Gosh, darn it. Oh, just the one color is sold out. Great. Okay. So, and this like line is supposed to be cleaner ingredients. So there's no parabens, sulfates, phthalates, which is awesome. So I'm excited to try it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Can't wait to get my hands on that. Probably gonna throw that in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then the other foundation that I am wanting to try is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation, which everybody and their mom, pretty much that I've watched, loves the original Photo Focus Foundation. I tried it and I hated it. I got rid of it almost immediately because number one, it smelled like paint thinner. Oh, very popular. Number one, it smelled like paint thinner. And from what people say, there is no scent to the new one, which is one reason why I wanna give it a try. But to me, it just like, didn't blend very easily. It was too much work. Like they make things too good these days for me to have to work at blending out a foundation. Like I remember it once I got everything to where I wanted it to be, it looked nice, but it took way too much work to get there. And I have so many foundations that are no fuss, easy in like under five minutes that it's like, why would I waste my time on that? So I got rid of it. But everybody loves the dewy one so much that I'm like falling back in and I want to try. Plus it's $6.50, which is such a good deal for a foundation. Um, so I'm hoping that I like that, so I do want to pick that up. Now, I I don't know when I watched it, but I guess in this last month, I watched Tati's video with Charlotte Tilbury, and they use so many products that I am now like dying to try. I narrowed it down to three and I added it to this because I do have some Nordstrom money that I could use for some of these products, but Charlotte Tilbury is expensive, so I like wanted to pick my top three and then maybe weed my way through those and then try more if I like those. So they just came out with a Pillow Talk eyeliner, which I know what you're thinking. I don't like eyeliner, but the right shades I do like. And this one looks kind of like a red-ish brown shade. It looks very interesting. And I really, really want to try it. She, Charlotte Tilbury applied it to her and to Tati in their Get Ready With Me video. And it just looked so beautiful. And she used it to do a little bit of like a flick, which then it inspired me. Um, Bare Minerals actually sent me this eyeliner. It's the Lasting Line Long Wearing Eyeliner in the shade Agave. And it's kind of like a green color. And I've worn it a couple of times where I just do like a really thin line and then a little bit of a flick and then I smudge it out. Oh, whoops, that's the sharpener, but that does have a smudger. So I've been enjoying that and now I wanna try it with this really cool, kind of like almost maroon color. I just think it's a really pretty color and the way it looked on both of them made me really wanna try it. So added that to my list. <laughs> Another one they both used and also Jessica Braun, which you guys know I love. She talks about it all the time. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. It's a contour stick. They do have it in like highlight shades as well, but I wanna try the contour stick situation. So I was already aware of the product because of Jessica Braun, but then Tati and Charlotte Tilbury both used it in their video and it looked so nice. And she says in it that it's like supposed to be for like the non-professional where it's not so hard to blend out. Like it's very no muss, no fuss. You put it on, you blend it out. It looks nice kind of no matter what. So I really want to try that. And then I've been watching people use this for years, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Contour duo. It just looks so nice. I talk all the time about how I like uh, a bit of shimmer in my contour and from the looks of this it looks like there's a little bit of shimmer 
not in my contour, in my bronzer. It looks to be a little bit of shimmer in the bronzer, which I just think is really nice, especially for like bronzing up your forehead and like a little bit of sun hitting it. It just looks nice to me. So I want to try that. And then the, um, I've loved every highlight I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I still have one. I don't think they make this anymore, but it's the gold brick highlight, which I freaking love. Um, so I just, I've been wanting to try that for a while and then also watching them again use it. I was like, ah, I want to try it. <laughs> there is one more thing that I wanted off of Amazon that I'm certainly going to order. Jessica Braun, again, I keep talking about her, but I love her so much, you guys. But she, I don't remember what video it was in. I think it might be in a couple videos, but she was wearing this really cute, um, pearl knotted looking headband and turns out it's a three pack from Amazon that is super cheap. I'll like insert a picture, um, but I love headbands and I only have a couple right now and I've been wanting one of the pearl ones for a while. I was looking at the ones on ASOS but these you get three colors for I think it's like $13 or something wild so I definitely want to order those. I have those on my little list as well. Oh and then the other only thing I had on my list was these little bud vases that I'm using to propagate things and I mentioned those in my February favorites but I already bought those. I got purple and green. I already had the pink. So those are the only other things that I was like waiting to buy. But that is it you guys. Other than that I I have steered clear of all the other things, which I don't think this is too bad. I mean, I'm probably gonna buy all of this at some point. I'm dying to try the two foundations and they're both drugstores, so like I can afford that. Have to have the Jaclyn Hill thing and then I have some Nordstrom money to buy some of the Charlotte Tilbury stuff, so yeah. But yeah, guys, those are my thoughts on kind of what I've missed in the beauty community while I was gone, which only a few of them were new, like the Charlotte, or I guess not. Four of the things were new. They came out in February. So just some things I want to try and I wanted to share this with you guys. If you guys like wish list videos, let me know and I can continue to do them because I think this is a safer way to just like regulate your life, especially me, because I can get so excited about beauty stuff and just like buy it all. But this way it kind of forces me to sit on it for a minute and be like, oh, do I really want this? So I might do this more often um, because after things sit for a few days, I might be like, mm, you know what? I don't need that. So let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos or like anti hauls or anything like that. So yeah. Oh, I also wanted to mention that I will be purchasing some of the um, OPI Mexico City collection. I couldn't buy that, which killed me, but it's the new OPI spring line, which I'm really excited about. So I will be picking up some of those eventually soon. But other than that, that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I say quick, but I've been filming for 20 minutes, so probably wasn't that quick. Yeah, I'll have all the things I mentioned down below if you want to check them out, prices and all that stuff. And don't forget to make a Shop Tagger account. It's free and it's amazing. And thank you again to Shop Tagger for sponsoring this video. It means so much, especially when brands like keep coming back it means they believe in me and my channel. And I think that's really nice. So thank you to them. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I will see you very soon in a new video and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye. <laughs>